think I would just say, nothing is too hard for God. See the story in the gospel about these two men that were filled with many, many, many spirits. They were so bad and so evil and so violent, no one could go near the place where they stayed. It was, it was dangerous because these men were active. In fact, Matthew shows us something that when Mark and Luke tell the story, they say it's only one person. But Matthew says, no, it's twice as bad. It's twice as hard because there were two men who were filled with all these spirits, who were demoniacs and hurting people. And it's called making the area be where people can't be there anymore. Twice as bad. But you know what? It didn't bother Jesus. Whether there were two of them who were filled with spirits or 50 of them, it didn't matter to him. He solved the problem. He cast the spirits out, threw them into a bunch of pigs, which were not clean animals in the Jewish culture anyway, and drowned the pigs too. He killed actually... He got rid of three problems with one soul. He got rid of one demoniac, another demoniac, and a bunch of pigs which shouldn't have been there. Nothing was too hard for him. How many ever pigs? How many ever people filled with spirits? No problem. We look at the story in 2 Kings, the story of King Manasseh. The Bible says he was the worst king ever. So wicked. Did so many bad things. He did so many evil things, worshiped things that were not God. He was doing uh, spiritist activities and witchcraft and all the Harry Potter type stuff that we're always told not to do. And a lot, lot worse things. Worship a lot of false gods. And it's sad because when he first became king, he was 12 years old. He was the same age as some of you. Maybe even younger than some of you. And he became king, and everybody thought it was going to be good, because his father was a very good king. For the whole 12 years he'd been alive, his father was one of the best kings ever. Everyone thought, good, Manasseh will be good, like his father as a guy. He turned out to be terrible. So bad, so evil. So bad, he made everybody else around him bad. That's how you know when somebody's really bad, when they make those around them bad also. And that's what Manasseh was. And we read the story about all the bad things that he did, how he led other, the other people of Israel to sin. And eventually, when Israel went into exile, he said it was because of the sin that Manasseh made people commit. So this was a very, very bad person. Seems like God can do nothing with this person. God can't help him at all. And yet, when you look at his story in 2 Chronicles, another book which tells the same story, let me read to you some verses here. Again, talking about Manasseh. Same person, same bad, bad king, same worst king ever. It says this. When Manasseh was in distress, the Lord brought him into some trouble. He blessed the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers. When Manasseh prayed to God, God was moved by his prayer, heard his supplication, brought him again to Jerusalem and his kingdom. In other words, it said Manasseh in his last days came back to God. There's even a prayer recorded in some Bibles that Manasseh's prayer of repentance to God. So even though this person was very, very, very bad, he wasn't too bad to go outside of God's mercy. God even reached down and touched him and saved him and restored him. Just like those two demoniacs, wasn't too hard for Jesus to deal with. Big flock of unclean animals, pigs, wasn't too hard for Jesus to deal with. Because simple truth what we see this morning nothing is too hard for God okay Amen. when you see something hard in your life is it going to be too hard for God yes or no too hard for God no. now he can handle these things he can handle anything so trust in him and watch him do his work when you think something is just too hard to handle not for God let's stand